While we know monetization for video games have become very absurd, especially when you look at Star Wars Outlaws, and they have a day one DLC for two extra storylines for the game that are just side quests when it comes down to it. But today I'm talking about Tekken 8 and how fighting game monetization has really taken it to the next level. You think MTG Arena is bad? You gotta take a look at what they're offering at Tekken 8 at level 45 as part of their fight pass. Now, before we fully get into the video, please do me a favor, subscribe to the channel and I will bring you more videos like this. Fighting games are fumbling a golden age through monetization. This is an article that came out in February, but I believe it's relevant to what I'm going to talk about here with Tekken 8. The absurdity and the ridiculousness of what they're offering in these fight passes or these battle passes. Fighting games are in an odd spot today. In the past few years, uh, they've been a paradoxically some of the best and worst times for, game for the genre. For one, fighting games have been enjoyed, uh, their biggest successes yet. The genre is more popular than ever before. Mainstays like Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter, and Smash Bros, Tekken, and more are still going strong. And even once niche titles like Guilty Gear broke through the mainstream. Full difference between the 2010s and the 2020s as the golden age for fighting games. On the other hand, fighting games have fumbled this very easy lap by pr falling prey to the video game industry's worst self-inflicted fiasco monetization all these extra things for monetization where you end up paying for costumes uh, I believe Mortal Kombat you're paying ten dollars a costume and a lot of them are they they advertise them as the old-school style of costume but then they censor out key details in it that people want but today today I turn my eyes to Tekken 8 Tekken 8 new patch and battle pass reveal predatory pricing and a ball at level 45 in their season pass or their fight pass whatever you want to call it at this point you get a ball you you literally get the ball it, they're no longer on the ball they've fallen off of the ball so far that portal is looking for it again it went through one portal over here ended up in tekken 8 Okay, the game, okay, it was stated in our previous article over the subject that many of, in our community did not care about the addition of a battle pass as the game has already priced at $70. And with more details about the pass and accompanying any patch, the news just goes from bad to worse. As shown above, the way coins work as currency in the game means players do not have the option to purchase 600 coins to get the battle pass, and instead they have to spend $10 to get 1,050 coins with the leftover of 450 coins they never needed. The model is absolutely predatory and it's one of the other fighting games such as Mortal Kombat 1 and Street Fighter 6 also feature and Tekken 8 will follow suit. Players were already up in arms having to pay more money for costumes. It looks like the battle pass just adds items as well. Nobody asked for that, such a plain white default Unity engine ball as the premium item. So you get this item, you get this white ball. It's absolutely ridiculous because if you go into Unreal Engine, right, the, there's, a, there's a video out there that shows you how to make this item in about a minute. This is now costing about $10 to go through and at level 45, you unlock this as a premium tier item when you when you sit here and get to this point click save and apply and there's your ball that's your ball just regular absolutely to the object ridiculous and that's it drop some comments likes below. absolutely ridiculous that's all it takes you you make this ball uh if you want to see more of that video it's absolutely ridiculous and then we've also got other people showing uh what they've done for this ball going out there ball you get a ball. His reaction ball. to this is absolutely hilarious. He's like, uh-huh, I got a ball. Ball. Look at it, man. Look at it. Oh my god. I need to I need to see it. Guys, they said I'd never be balling. Yeah, you'd never be balling. They said I'd never be balling. And you get <laughs> What is this? <laughs> Seriously. What is this? You get a floating ball on your shoulder for the season pass as a premium item. 
This is absolutely ridiculous at this point. Once again, we have more people that can show you how to make this in under a minute. It's absolutely ridiculous at this point. Uh, here, here's the ball you get, and he goes along and he shows how to make this. And this video on Twitter is 32 seconds long. Absolutely ridiculous that they are charging this as a premium item in a video game now. Pay an extra $10, and this is one of your premium tier items. No. No, this is absolutely downright disgusting and gross and deplorable where they have gone in the video game industry for monetization on fighting games. This isn't what people want. People don't want this random floating ball on their shoulder. Well, maybe they do, unless they're Magneto, then at least maybe he can control the ball and throw it at somebody. Is that what this is? We're going to go back to the days of Pong. You get to pay $10 to play Pong in Tekken 8 now because you get the ball. You know, I get it. These battle passes, these fight passes, whatever they are, you gotta fill them up with junk and that's how you get to sell these passes because you gotta offer something at every level. But this is now the state of the game is we have a level 45 ball. You get to have a ball on your shoulder. It's not a bird, it's a ball. Maybe we can imagine it's a beach ball or something. You're lounging on the beach, suddenly your Tekken character gets the ball. Passes have never been that good. I, I remember with Magic the Gathering Arena, going through the battle pass at one point the battle pass actually was worth the value of it and now they tone it down so much more and give you so many more cosmetics ultimately in these battle passes that it just edges over how much the value of the the passes are in these games with them being cosmetics charging an extra 10 20 dollars for these passes is it's pretty ridiculous uh, in itself especially when the game like Tekken 8, I believe is like $70 American to buy in the first place. That's the other thing with these big name fighting games. There's a new one that's coming out all the time. A new version of these games are coming out all the time. And now they're kind of becoming that new sports style genre, you know, with like NHL 24 at this point. Next year, they'll come out with the NHL 25 and then you pay the $70 for the game all over again. And it goes into the discount bin, the old version, because it's a new version of it. But then they're adding in these monetizations. Now you get alternate jerseys in a video game where in the fighting games, you get an alternate look for your character for about $10 as well. It's absolutely ridiculous. These things should maybe be 50 cents to a dollar to add as an extra and they would just, people would just buy it like crazy and you wouldn't always feel like they're being so predatory at that point. But when you charge an extra $10 American uh, for a game or for a extra feature that you don't need in a game, no one really wants that. There's a few people that'll buy it just to show off and it's going to hit the whales, I guess. But does that really drive the industry forward? Uh, you know, I get it. You want to always have money and have that money flowing in. And that's where games like uh, subscription passes are going along. The Xbox Game Pass is one of those that's probably doing well in it. But the second that Game Pass gets too much money, like we have with Netflix right now, it's people are going to drop it flat on its face and it's unfortunate that this is the way things are going anyway let me know did you have the ball today do you have a ball do you have a tennis ball can you throw it for your puppy maybe maybe just throw it once and, and stop that's probably where these companies should stop is just not throw the ball for the puppy because the puppy doesn't want to spend ten dollars on it Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm your proud Canadian Phoenix Cinder Shadow. I'm signing off here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you again very soon.